feel like you could just like make the rounds then like <clears throat> donate that you could donate like you know some oh, other uh, sexual yeah. stuff I guess yeah. oh really <laughs> interested Maybe it's a state state thing. and like, oh, we need more of me out there or some shit, you know. Yeah. Well, you hear like that a lot of these cases are like the, um, for in vitro or whatever, like for like, are having a hard time like getting pregnant. It's like the freaking person that like impregnates them with their own like fucking like shit dude it's like fucking it's weird dude. like there's a lot of fucking cases of that like just fucking like weirdos doing shit like that yeah big d used to oh okay Yeah, I can hear you fine. You got the MV7 too? Okay. Yeah, I like these mics are really good. I like them. stands like straight up. Like yeah, like a like a an arm or whatever. point of it is to like be in your mouth basically but I can understand that like you gotta have it on like an angle where it's like coming at your
you think uh, over under for uh, Vetchkin for goals this year? Welcome, welcome, we're back with Bar League Hockey Season 11 Draft. It's been, uh, God, I feel like it's been at least a few months or so. It's good to be back. Season 11, wow. Yeah, so Bar League, just uh, surviving the years. And uh, we got Big big D in the booth, greatness in the back, and with no face, no Sammy today. But we'll try to, we'll try to make it work. Nope, half the people <laughs> just left the room. Big D got ah. makeup on today, so we got like a half. Sammy grew a beard too. <laughs> I think we got. Who's doing the board, by the way? Uh, Is anybody doing Hogan the board? There, right? Yeah, I think. Uh, I think I see Hoagie maybe in there, hopefully. But first round pick is already out. It's uh, no surprise. Cavi again, <laughs> the first overall. Has that worked out? At all as him at number one because who do you win with? Did he win with the IR? The injured uh, Yeah, I think he came in. I don't think he was drafted though. I think he came yeah. in as a, as a late pickup. So I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's been. Uh, I don't think he's won when he's been first overall. So I think I think he was just uh, first overall pick last season with Geezer coming at two. No. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah, up, up there you get a. Uh, I think you see James B as number. Okay, there you go. I just switched. <laughs> All right, Cavi number one. Mizzy going second overall to the Yellow Dogs. No surprise, no surprise. Lazar going to the Axemen. That one is a surprise. Uh, yeah. I did not have him in my top five. Yeah, I've played with him before. Yeah. Okay. He's a pretty good player, ain't he? Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> just, I, did just, uh, I guess coming from CN, that makes sense. Yeah, I think Indians he, I on think the he clock. Plays here. Mikey, play with Mikey a lot, Tony. Mm -hmm. Ballsy, these got picks are going quick. Everybody's got somebody in mind. Ballsy going fourth overall to the Indians at right wing this season, and obviously play goaltender too. Who do you think we're going to see the first center off the board? Not many out there. Yeah. Oh, g -card. I didn't know he was playing this season. He's going to the Shrimp. The Mighty Shrimp. Geezer's making their back-to-back -back pick here. At number six and seven, we'll put them on the clock here. You can see their little logo. They already have a strong forward front with uh, McTricky and Geezer, obviously. So maybe we'll see a D-man or that other uh, winger there to support them. No Barrow this season, right? Not yet. I was um, just gonna ask, did he sign up? Well, if you remember, uh, he. Oh wait, never mind. That, that was uh, yeah, he was under manager. We did, we did three. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So two this season with uh, only six teams. I think the season before and season nine, uh, he signed. He signed up late, and uh, <laughs> Scrub said he picked him up then. He guard with the. I don't know if that's a Bob Ross emote or. That yeah, would be a uh, pixel in Bob <laughs> Rossi mode. <laughs> we got two picks back to back coming. Oh, Maggle's not even on it. I, I thought Maggle was owning again, but we got Maggle and Dad Bob going back to back here. Defense going off the board. Is Dad Bob playing D? I'm assuming he would be. Dad Bob signed up for D. I believe Maggle signed up for wing, left wing and right wing. Ah. But they maybe, they're play play as, maybe they're looking to play him at center too. Yeah. But yeah, number six and seven getting Maggle and Dad Bob. Sh Mighty Shrimps going for Wong Tong Chu's back. I've actually never played with him, but I know he's OG. He OG. He yeah. is a menace. <laughs> he's a menace to play against, especially in threes. <laughs> Indians back on the board here at nine. Still no centers. Off the board. Well, 
Do you think, uh, you think they're gonna, that somebody's going to try and get the Omaha boys together? Mm-hmm. 100%, like, uh, I'm sure. You think, you think the league will let that happen? Yeah, probably. Yeah. You need to have on. both. You need to have both together. So, I mean, Mackie's really easy to get along with, so, um, you know, it's really a Lambo. That's the problem there, so. <laughs> I think they balance each other out, so I think they'll probably end up on the same team there. I like both of them, you know, but they don't always get along with everybody. So, is it weird for me to think that Jay Whips is better than both of them? Is that just me? Am I the only guy who thinks that? I think uh, you just think that. It's just me. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's a good player. I like Jay Whips a lot. No, he's not, I'm not saying. They're I like bad. JSC. I like JSC the best, honestly. Lizard uh, pwned Spock going to the Indians. You see a lot of defensemen going off the board already. So we have the Axemen on the clock. Axemen run by... You, uh, oh, sir. Either of you sign up? No. I do not. Uh, don't even have the game downloaded, bud. Well, I figured. Thanks for the follow. Uh, full 10-hour trial. Yeah. Or Lewin Golski, sorry, Lewin Golski, I can't fucking see. That beta was all I could handle. Mint Mars going to the Ooh. Axemen, no surprise there, with uh, Huncho Mikey and CN65 on that. I did not see him squad. signed up. That's a... He signed up yeah. yesterday. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Up. Yeah, yep. good player, very good player. Good to see him again. I haven't seen him since... Uh, well, I don't even remember what the league was called. Was it GHL or GCHL or whatever? He, I think he signed up a couple seasons ago. I, th I don't even know if I played with him in 23, but I know I at least played with him in 22. It's been a while since he's been around. Yeah, he can he can move all around the ice too, which is a very versatile oh, yeah. player. So he's pretty decent at all all those positions as well. I would uh, I would match up with him in pubs, and uh, he would always be on wing and. Of course, I would be in goalie, and he just eat me alive. There's Big D going off the board there. Hey, uh, yeah, 11 right. overall to the Yellow Dogs. Yellow that. Dogs with uh, Malk coming uh, back with Perk Angle, who's uh, OG as well. Oh, Big D, you know the strategy for that. Just um, feed Mizzy as much as possible. Pretty much. <laughs> Gold he 1T is, not as good this year. I mean, I feel like in his hands, though, I mean... He knows where I, to I, be. I looked at his uh, stats, uh, I think it was yesterday, and he's averaging like six six points a game. Obviously, he's a threes player. Yeah. But. what What's hard about covering him is he always sits high in the slot. So, like, it's basically <sighs> if your winger doesn't guard him, then it's the responsibility of the defenseman he's to basically so stay shifty. high. Yeah, it's it's really annoying to have to cover high slot as a defenseman. So, and you would do if you don't have a like a sturdy center who's you know helping you out in the middle. Then yeah, it's it opens everything up when he's on the ice. Gretchy going for the Bearbacks. They're back to back on twelve and thirteen, taking B pack. Another good defenseman there at thirteen. Man, uh, best goalie is still on the board. Or is he giving the uh, Shrek a little shout out here? FTP. Ooh, I feel like I haven't seen his name now. in a while, too. Yeah. Honestly, he, man, he, he he hasn't lost a step at all. Like, he is consistently one of the best goaltenders, wherever he is. And he's got a good name. Who's that? Fuck the Packers. Oh. <laughs> Jersey says he got too drunk last night. I was at the uh, Patriots game actually when they when the Bills lost to us. <laughs> made friend I made friends with a Bills fan though. They were sitting right next to us. So uh, they said we were gonna catch a fucking uh, Buffalo game, uh, the Sabres <laughs> game there at one point. So we bought him a couple beers. He said, uh, "Come on down to the." Buffalo Sabres game, it'll buy us a couple rounds. So we'll see. I'd feel good. Uh, Belichick getting his 300 win against Buffalo, though. Yeah. 
a little cherry on top. I mean, I, I'd rather have the uh, the draft capital, but it's always nice to stick it to the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the divisional uh, talent there. I mean, we the Patriots have the best divisional record right now in the fucking AFC the East there, so fucking surprising. First member Omaha off the board would be J Whips. Uh, J Whips of the Axe, man. That'd be a good place for those guys. You can snake it around and form a nice little line with J Whips taking the majority of games. Yeah. Devin going to the Indians, who called uh, the Bar League stream uh, pretty biased when I was in the party with him the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I mean. You're telling me everyone doesn't love geezer as much as I do? <laughs> Best player in the league, and it's not even close. Motor right, City Madman. I like that. I like that pick by the geezers. I would assume they maybe they'll get take a shawarma again later on too. Oh, shorty. I didn't know he's playing again. There's shorty to uh, the geezers. Shorty, That's not shorty a surprise. Up? Did he yeah, sign up yesterday? So. Ooh, little sneakers, man. Indians on the clock here. Mackie, oh, Mackie going to the shrimps. Mighty shrimps there. Geezer's we'll looking to uh, like form the exact same team they had last season. Pick up a lot of familiar guys. Indians on the board there. Indians run by JT Diesel and Wee Woo, so JT plays goalie. Wee Woo, I think, is a defenseman. I can't remember. Chubby Wallet, I'm not familiar with, but going to the Indians. Left left wing, number 21 overall. We're already into the first, fourth round. Round of nine, too. Six teams in Bar League. Uh, if you want to throw the uh, date and times greatness, I know you're great at that. Yeah. <laughs> It's only what I'm good for. Uh, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 9, 9.45 Eastern. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great league. Axeman. One of the best. On the board already has some great picks out there. And Loading Win, their goaltender there, they're going to pick up. He's playing in the ECHL. I can't remember what team, but look forward to playing against him. It's still a lot of Great defenseman out there. You got a lot of Norris winners still remaining. There's Sage going off the board at T to the Yellow Dogs. No surprise. Before I think stop. they're all kind of buddies too. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Like, I haven't played with Stump this version. <laughs> you got Stump, Sharpapi, Westfield. I mean, those guys have been consistently at the top of that yeah. Norris nomination every year. I would say Sharpapi not going yet is pretty surprising. And stump too. Uh, and stump, yeah. uh, I'm more surprised about stump. It seems like Sharpapi and Westfield get slept on a little bit in this league, but yeah. We'll see. Lambo going to the Bearbox. They're all three of them are in different spots this season, which is pretty uh it's pretty awesome. I like that actually. We'll see if they end up on the same team though at the yeah. end of the season. It is crazy. I mean the shrimp's picking up the you know the best goalie in the draft in the fourth round is pretty crazy. It's true, and defenseman too. Yeah, he makes it look easy. If any of you need tips on how to play this game, a defense or goalie, Mackey is the guy to go to. Ooh, JP Nasty. Yeah, Cords is good, right? I'm pretty sure Cords. He hasn't played in a while, no. If he's this is the person I'm thinking of, I think he usually gets put on a um, one of those fun teams. Yeah. And uh, really hasn't been had a chance to excel, but I don't know. There's Stump going to the X Men. I think I remember Cords from season five. He was with uh, the Roosters, where all they did was just try to go for hits before yeah. they before they uh, picked up Geezer. Might be thinking of somebody else then. Shinbo going to the Indians. There's a C there. And a C, yeah, not too many C. That's two, the second C off the board. Uh, Shorty uh, snuck in at defense. Yeah, he played defense. He played uh, lefty last yeah. season, I think, too. I think he played a little, little center as well. 
There's Westfield going to the Mighty Shrimps. Another defenseman there in Westfield. I don't know if he got picked up that's in the a, C. It's an availability or Westfield's one to two, Sharpapi one to two. Stomp was three to four though. Hmm. Geezer's going back to back here at thirty and thirty one, stepping into round six. Uh, have they taken a goal yet? Yes, they did. They took down Motor City Pyman. There we go. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, they, those are those are their whole last season, just trying to fill anyone there. Is uh, they addressed it early. Is Reimer not playing? I don't believe Reimer signed up unless oh. he snuck in yesterday. With those late signups, uh, you are only capped at three. You can only play three games max. I think it was a good rule. Geezers need a right wing, so I'm curious who they're going to pick. I mean, Geezer. Yeah, uh, better than a C then. Clemmer Kyle at D. I don't know him either. Users will get a back-to-back -back pick. I think it's already in, though. Sure, Poppy. Sure. There you go. Not surprising. Surprised you went that low, though. Mighty Shrimps up next. Taking Section 8. Playing left wing again this season. There's a lot of good right wings still out there. Guys that can bury the puck. Three Pons Box says free TKO. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> your your favorite one of your favorite D partners shiny on the spot still out there yeah uh, he was very good with us last year uh, last season I think he took uh, big strides in his game I was impressed well playing next to you will do that I think he gained uh, a little bit more confidence in himself which is all he needed Dizzy, who owned last season, the Rebels going at right wing to the Indians at 33. It's been on the board. Very easy to play with. I was going to say, very, that's very solid pickup. Yeah, he plays D2, right? Yep. He plays everything. X Men pick already in at 34. As Miller, not a surprise yeah. that they all know each other. But Miller in the sixth round, that uh, that is that is wild to me. Yeah, Axman's got a pretty good team going on. He's got he's got round one two talent. This is availability. Three to four. Yeah. <laughs> Diesel getting picked up. The yellow dogs, another Swiss Army knife. Yep. Re a reliable Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Seems like the guy's always available. Airbags going back to back here, round six into seven. I think uh, so far I like the X Men's draft. Easier's doing well too. They're just looking for that right wing. Or C, like you said. We got um, the Bearbacks, uh, Pockets, and Cash Out, who are, I think, pretty good friends. Pockets is... um, Whose uh, brother is Jay Sawyer? Pockets. Yeah, it's Pockets. Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. Okay. Angfall. Going to the Bearbacks at right wing. Okay. Yeah. I usually plays goaltender, right? Uh, I think he, he plays he plays about everything. I know he can play center too. He's been passing the puck more, so I enjoy that. Daddy going to the Bearbacks left wing, good pickup. Going in the seventh round there. Yellow dogs Easier. on the clock. I was gonna call him a good, uh, like a, a good locker room guy, but I mean that that kind of usually implies that he's not very good on the ice, but that's not the case at all. 
Yeah. Solid player. Yellow dogs on the clock taking Chad. The commish. How many rounds we got? Nine. It's almost done. Ooh. It was a quick draft. Yeah, literally early already at like the twenty like just under twenty minutes. We're here for it. We like it. We're fucking pretty efficient here, so the shit is rolling. So good shout out to the uh staff there at uh Barley Hockey. Making it happen behind the scenes. <laughs> Season eleven, so what have we been in? Commissioned for uh what, three years or Yeah. Since uh twenty twenty one. Yeah. Donkey going to the Axe Men. If I was going to go somewhere, that's probably a good fit for him. I know he played with a lot of those guys in the World Cup, so. Indians on the board here at 40. I was on that World Cup team. Didn't pan out. <laughs> There's Shawnee. You can pick up by the Indians there. Stabilize that decor. Hopefully, uh, everybody had enough time to get their perks, you know, starting the season. There are a couple banned ones, right? They're following suit with LG. So, uh, this season, uh, what is it? Uh, Unstoppable Force, Truculence, and... Big Tipper. Big Tipper, yeah. As well as uh, any pre-made builds. Those very strong pre-made builds. Yep. All banned. Thoughts on it? I like it. I 100% agree with the pre-made builds. Yeah. Uh, Truculence, meh. It's not as big this year as last year. It's hard to hit. Yeah. I mean, you might as well just go for a hip check. That's going to be yeah. the matter for a very long time. Yeah, until they patch it. Yeah, hippers are the uh, quote, thing. Quote, unquote, next month. And the Art Ross from last season just went in the seventh round. Yeah, JT had a great season. With most of the Yaxmen last season. Going to the Mighty Shrimp, who uh, I that... think JT's uh, in NZ, right? So they know him pretty well. Yeah, Art Ross, the, uh, the Rocket as well. I mean, the guy had a monster season, goes in the seventh round. Geezer's going back to back. Seven to eight here. That would have been a monster pickup for geezers to snag him in the sevens. They must have somebody hiding. I'm I'm surprised they haven't picked a Sierra right wing yet. Unless if they got somebody uh, transitioning into something else, but like male to female or female to male. I don't know. I don't judge. Whatever you like. Oh, there it is. Hey, I'm all for it. Coming. Gives me business, so if you want to... Well, I mean, if you think about it, technically, <laughs> I mean, Geezer's your right wing, and... McTricky's the center? Could could be. I guess, yeah. Shorty the left wing. I mean, that was the, that was the go-to lineup for them for most of last season. I like, I think, I just like McTricky at left wing. That's all. I think he's utilized better there. He plays a lot of LG at center, doesn't he? He's not his main position in LG. My gripe with him is he needs to cover the slot better. Uh defense, that's all. There's Schwarmer going to the geezers. That's not surprising. Looks like they're really trying to uh, basically rebuild that team of last season. Let's see if they can be. find a replacement for... Ooh, one of my favorite defensemen. And left wing. Ooh. Uh, I don't I'm not familiar with him playing left wing, but um, but solid defenseman as they come. ITB extremist. Oh, ITBF extremist or extremist? Oh, is it one? <laughs> I thought it was one. I thought it was one. Is it I? I don't know. Going to the shrimps though. Indians. Uh, Mint Mars has already been picked, so it should not be a Mint Mars on there. Hey, you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Quite a bit, uh, 
Might have been a wrong pick. I didn't. I'm not. I don't have the draft uh, chat up yet. So you throw out names like Jingle Juice. Just if he's there, you just snag him. Husky. Husky playing C. He did play C last season though too. I actually thought he was pretty decent at C. D's hands going to the Axeman. That's another Omaha boy. He'll be with um with Mackie, I think. Was Mackie over there or is he with the shrimps? I think he's with the shrimps. I can't shrimps, remember yeah. who picked yeah, I can't remember where Lambo went. Um Lambo went to And Jameis was with the Axeman. Boston Bear. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I'll be with J Whips. Mackie okay. Mackie's with the Mackie's with the shrimps. I like that. It's parody. There's parody in the league. Still a lot Yellow. of solid players out there. Yellow Dog's on the clock. Yellow Dog's owned by Malk and Perk Angle. I've never seen Perk play. Is he good? Good player? Uh, he was a season one guy. I And then I think he skipped season three and played season four. All three of those scenes I did not play. Yeah. Never heard of him. I think Malk's been playing mostly defense, but I think he can move around too. Shrimp's team, too, run by... Uh, we haven't really run through a lot of the uh, management, but it's uh, Shrimp and Yates. Yates is a pretty decent player, too. Uh, it's kind of lippy, isn't he? Right the... He loves Discord, oh. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, it might be one of those... Uh, uh, I know JP Nasty used to kind of be like that a little bit, but I think Bar League tends to put people in their place a little. So, let's see. I don't think I've seen JP Nasty type in the chat uh, ever since reserved. season seven. Pretty reserved. As I know, he's just, I see him leave. I see him leave the Discord every season. Well, hopefully he has some success with that team that he got drafted by. Uh, can't remember who it was, but well, there's there's no G one, so I mean yeah, barebacks. Okay. Yeah. No can just, uh, either. Uh, yeah, you can just no one to impress. You can just chill, <laughs> score some goals like he's like he's known to be doing, and yeah, like you said, have some success hopefully. Good management though there at the barebacks pockets and cash is so pretty chill and. I do like pockets. Yeah, they've been around for a while. They know the league. They know who's in it. <laughs> Waiting on the yellow dogs here at 47. Almost actually wrapped up this draft. This is round eight of nine. Yellow Good dogs to see Flankenberry back in the league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I first... The first season that I played, the, one of the OGs... Um, they used to be, I think he was like league management. Uh, it was a goaltender. I can't remember his name though. Hmm. Yeah, it's 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 leaving my my mind. Big D La might Pla. know. Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's who it is. Who was it? Yeah, Laplat. Oh, Laplat. Yeah, he was yeah, really he, good. Big yeah. Goaltender. Yeah, he had a lot of the goaltending records until G Guard, you know, smashed him. I think he's still got one of the best seasons as a goalie, if I'm not mistaken. Like, top three seasons, statistically. Yellow he's Dogs, like I think it's <laughs> Yellow yeah, Dogs run out of time. <laughs> it always happens to somebody. That's what, yeah, that's, what, that's what happens when you haven't been in the league in six seasons. Drew Koo and Carrot going to the Bearbacks. Yeah. Yellow Dogs. <laughs> Paying attention now, they take Tyke. Gonna be playing C again Ooh. as Norm. That's that's a nice that's a nice deal. Good nine round pick there, absolutely. Good value. Axman on the clock for their last pick of the draft. Big D, how do you feel on uh, about 24, though? Is it better than last year for you? Um, What do you mean? 
yeah, I guess just like the feel of it, like how you're feeling with uh, your play style and stuff for 24 versus 23. Um, I kind of hate it, but <laughs> at the same time, I kind of don't. I don't feel like I'm getting blasted every 10, 10 seconds. I feel like I can hold on to the puck a little bit longer, but the fact that my play style is try to get a breakaway and I like to LT in the middle of the ice a lot. And now I can't do that. It's different, yeah. Especially on a breakaway. I can't even describe it, but it feels slower, but also faster at the same time. It's like, I, I can't explain it, but like... It, it's faster on the outside, the, like on the outside of the, of the rink. But once you like cut to the middle, it gets real slow. Yeah, no, that's true. I show that. That's a good way of putting it. It's almost like shit just slows down a little bit when you're making your cuts, like at least from a defenseman point of view, like when I'm cutting off of the blue line or whatever, it just feels like it's almost in slow motion for a little bit. So, so I mean, <laughs> the straight lines are there, but the agility is lower, maybe? I feel more agile in this it's, version it's, than yeah, any other. I, I, honestly, I, I've, I felt that too. Yeah, because I run, I usually run 92 agility. I'm running 86 this season. You run high agility with the lead edges? No, I'm running 86 this season. Not la last year I would run 92. Hmm. Yeah, but I'd run right, 86 this this season. You, you, you tanked like all of your shooting attributes, right? Type oh, yeah, guy. yeah. I don't shoot. Uh, yeah, I don't. I shoot like three times uh, a game, if that. So. Yeah, here we go. Last, last four picks here. The John King in chat. Shout out to him. Shorzy going to the Axemen. Did he play last season? Uh, the name sounds familiar. I mean, obviously it's I from... I think he joined for the World Cup. Yeah, because obviously it's Letterkenny, but I feel like I've seen that name before. So. Uh, season 2 just came out today. Well, I guess on Hulu, the finale came out today. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, solid. That's good. He ends back on the clock for their last pick. Not better than Ladder Kenny, but still yeah. a nice man. Who doesn't like Shorzy, right? Yeah, I haven't. I don't think I've seen any of this. Uh, uh, any of that, like the spinoff. That show. Yeah, I haven't seen any yeah. of that show, but yeah, I recommend it. Obviously, like it's Kenny, funny. You'll, you'll probably you'll, you'll taper your expectations a little bit, yeah. and you'll you'll have a good time. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the best spinoff ever is Better Call Saul, hands down. Best, okay. best, yeah, best sequel or like a spinoff rather that I've ever seen. Thrasher fan going to the Indians. Mm -hmm. This is just like who do we rem who do we know basically, and this usually how it's going to go. If you're new to the league, probably not going to get drafted in these late rounds. I really like Shrimp's uh, logo. <laughs> It's just like pops. I love the colors. Yeah, uh, I feel like they can do a lot with their jerseys too. That'd be that'd be fun to see. Yeah, I like it. Picks coming up here. Sharpshoot. Hey, yeah, he, he actually was on our uh, Omaha team last season. He's good. G this position though. He played a uh, right wing for us, I think couple games that we got him in he actually i think he put up like four points a game yeah. sharpshoot a uh a veteran here in bar easier is for mr irrelevant coming up last pick of the draft in round nine if uh they can either say champ he was on their team last season the spady uh the oven chicken <laughs> Yeah. Little, little sad berries there. I'd like a uh, I'd like a uh Spady Savage pick right here. I think that's a good one. You can play right wing, you can play right T, you can play goalie. Uh, he's, he's been playing center too. Uh not so much really? goalie. Uh yeah, he's he's actually a solid center. Yeah. Uh, anybody would be lucky to have him in an RA for sure. Tandem skates. Master Collier, okay. Okay. Hiding in there, right wing. He had a tough uh, shoot with the jo uh, 
purple cobras last season. Uh, I know his availability is always good. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the kind of guys you want in these weight rounds. There you have it. Yeah, that's it. That's a quick and easy. Good efficiency here from uh, Bar League Hockey again. We'll go up to uh, round one and two and just kind of take a quick peek there. Caveat, no surprise. I think he's been back to back to back first round picks, uh, first overall rather. So no surprise there from the Bearbacks and Missy Mike, obviously, usually going in the first round to the Yellow Dogs this time around. Lazar, yeah, I, like I don't him. know. Oh, yeah. Continue, I, yeah. I, no, I, I, I like the Axemen's first two picks. I think they, they got the. Uh... They took the win. That's those are great. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't see Doc. Uh, ca caveat Doc. That, yeah. Those that's are probably, great too. Yeah. yeah. Toss up there. Toss up there. Uh, depending how well uh, Wong Tu Wong Tong Chu. Uh, that's pretty good too. Lives right? up to the hype. Uh, like I, said, we, I don't know anything about him, but. I don't think anybody really made too many mistakes. I, I question mark here on the Indians. We'll see. I mean, it's a different version here. Well, Valsy makes sense. Oh yeah. Uh, I know. I, I'm, I actually, I, I really like Spock. <laughs> he's a good dude. Uh, I mean, he's he's got availability as well. I mean, maybe the talent might be not be there, but I mean, he knows how to play. It's not like he's. It's not like he's a can of worms or anything. You know? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think anybody made any mistakes here in round one and two. Just like when you're playing the fantasy draft uh, for football. Yeah, maybe there. the Yellow Dogs with their second round pick. Yeah. The dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, not bad. Here's where you start getting a little dicey, sure. I'm sure, uh, but Axeman's still doing pretty Lambo, good. Here. Yeah, B Pack and Manbo standing out there. Motor and Shorty. I mean, that's that's pretty good too. <laughs> I'm just thinking oh, Mackie and Hoagie on a line. I'm just like, I was just I'd like to see how that goes. Like, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't. I mean, they're both gonna be fighting for net, right? So I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, one, of, one of them will be on net. So. Yeah, uh, good well, stuff, who's a tricky game? Uh, who's get, well, it was Maggle and Dad Bob. That's, that's yeah. fucking solid, too. If Maggle can, can be available, I mean, I know he's kind of busy. He's kind of a kind of a slut, a league slut. Gets around mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, both of them can uh, move positions as well, so mm -hmm. there's some versatility there. And a uh, good pickup with Motor I'm trying City to get Bob to play shorter. center. I think Bob could be a great center, but uh, that's a daunting task to learn face-offs, I know. Yeah. Stuff. Even if you lose them, though, as long as you can back check properly mm -hmm. and like be in position, I think it's you know something that you can just eventually learn. All right. Man, well, shit. Stop in the fifth. Wow. Yeah, there's some there's some steals here, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, round as well, dude. Usually we go, I think, six teams, and it's usually the first, like, once the game comes out, we're usually at six, and then the next season we're usually around, like, eight or so. Yeah. yeah, so, like, hey, Barley just won't, it's it's here to stick around, man, so. Yeah. Blackhawks just to... won, by the way, yeah. against, <laughs> against Vegas. That's okay. Sorry, D. Nobody cares about that. Right? <laughs> it wasn't Bedard. <laughs> Nobody cares. Did Mirazic play? Yep. Yeah. Did you bet on it? <laughs> I did not. I'm staying away from that. Dude, I, I don't think he's a very good goalie, but he's actually playing very well this season. I'm not losing any more money. <laughs> hey, well, we're going to call it then, I guess. Uh, that was a quick, like I said, it was nice and quick. Um, here's to uh, Bar League Season 11. We got, uh, what, Monday through Friday? Uh, rather, Monday through Wednesday. Nothing changed, right? It's still 9 and 9.45, you said. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 9, 9.45 Eastern. Uh, yes. If you, you know, just because the dress, I mean, going, you, you know, you can still sign up, uh, get your three games a, a week. It's just a nice little chill spot. You, know, you come in, win some games, and uh, maybe come away with a chip. Yeah, we're going to try to get back to streaming on Tuesday nights. So uh, look for us on Tuesdays and then Big D Fridays. Uh, most likely. I haven't fully decided yet, but um... Friday, Saturday. Friday or Saturday, yeah. I'll probably start at 9 for the uh, recap show every week. 
Nice. Yeah. yeah. If you're interested too, I know Big D's looking at different, um, you know, guests for each week. So he likes to feature at least one special guest each week. So hopefully somebody different um, each week. So it'd be cool just to get uh, somebody else's, you know, uh, point of view on there. So yeah, hit them up if you're interested. We're always looking. And Sammy will be back. Don't yeah. worry. But uh, thanks for uh, Big D for stepping in. Uh, greatness as always there. And uh, I guess we'll see you on Tuesday. Good luck to all the teams there. Uh, thanks for uh, management. And uh, it's Barley Hockey. We're out.